the screencast video lecture we are going to see what is humus and how it has been formed there in the soil and finally how the humus improves the physical chemical as well as biological properties of the soil so when a dead organic matter of the plant and animals were subjected to decomposition majority of the carbon that have been evolved as carbon dioxide will be escaping and reaching the atmosphere or else the carbon may be incorporated again back into the biomass however a small portion of carbon is biochemically altered and they remain relatively stable there in the soil as organic matter so that is referred as a humus this humus is defined as a dark brownish to black colored waxy material formed of organic products obtained by decomposition of cellulose hemicellulose lignin and microbial cell walls and other resistant molecule that may be formed during the free radical reaction of sugars amino acids and products of lignin decomposition it contains many inorganic salt also with it those includes phosphates potassium etc so the definition may be little bit difficult but this is the exact way in which the humus is getting formed in a simple way if you want to describe it refers to dark organic material that forms in soil when plant and animal matter are undergoing a decomposition whereas the microbes play a major role there in the humus formation if you look at into this diagram it shows the overall steps that have been involved there in the humus formation the final humic material will be in a highly dark black in color everything will be finally polymerized and condensed to form into the humus structure however the steps involved there in the humus formation is a highly complex now we try to find out what are the other constituents that have been present there along with the humic substances if you look at into the soil organic matter that could be consisting of humic substances and non humic substances what are all humic substances they are brown to black color substances that is of relatively high molecular weight that may be formed by secondary synthesis reaction that may be partly of a abiotic and some type of a biotic means that could be facilitated by the microorganisms then what are non humic substances it refers to unaltered remains of animals microbes and plant systems this fraction usually contains compounds that belongs to the biochemical classes which we have already known say for example the non humic substances could be of uh, amino acids carbohydrates fats waxes resins and even of an organic acids all these things constitutes into the non humic substance of the organic matter the humic substance is further divided into humic acid fulvic acid and humin what is humic acid it's a dark brown to black organic material that can be extracted from soil by various reagents especially by dilute alkali of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide and it could be commonly insoluble in a ph of 2 these high molecular compounds will be varying from a molecular weight of 10000 to 1 lakh dalton and they are composed of aromatic rings cyclic nitrogen compounds peptide chains of a intermediary structure next one is a fulvic acid it is an yellow colored material that remains in the solution after removal of the humic acid by the previous acidification process it is low in molecular weight that is within 1000 to 30000 dalton and it contain highly oxidized aromatic rings with numerous side chains and the last portion is a humin it's a fraction of organic matter that cannot be extracted from the soil when you are using a dilute alkali or acids and it is highly resistant to microbial attack also so humin constitutes the highly resistant and persistent form of a organic matter there in the soil next we try to understand the functions of the humus it influences physical chemical as well as biological properties of the soil first we look at the biological properties it serve as a source for carbon and energy to support the large and diverse and metabolically different groups of bacterial community or microbial community there in the soil it serves as a source for certain compounds that can able to exert a 
plan growth promoting effects and improves the plant growth. Next points are related to the chemical properties. It increases the cation exchange capacity commonly referred as a CEC from 20 to 80 percentage. It buffers the pH changes and provides a slow release and supply of organically bound nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus and sulphur. It enhances the chelation and thus bioavailability of trace elements to the plant system. It accelerates mineral weathering and aids in solubilization of plant nutrients such as phosphorus from their insoluble minerals. Finally, we look at the physical properties that could be augmented there by the humus. Litter and humus together found in the upper surface of the soil. They increase the rate of water absorption during rainy season and they can able to reduce the drastic temperature fluctuations that can able to happen there at the soil surface due to the warm sunlight. It produces several acids which functions to dissolve and increase the availability of various minerals. Finally, the litter and humus together contribute in improving the soil structure and aggregation.